supportive. So I'm going to start. I'm going to start at the feet. Okay, so when we squat, we have what's called a tripod of pressure. That big foot, there's pressure one, two, and in my heel, three. It allows me to not have this happen. Okay, which pulls my knees in. So when we go down, I usually see some of this. Okay, you guys see that? Alex, can you film from the front here? Or no. off the smooth. Okay? Got it. So the feet. All right, or I'll see just weight shifting in the wrong spot. So actually, my feet are flat, but what's going on here? All my weight's forward. forward. Okay? Here's my weight back. Here's my weight forward, which is dictated by my knee position. So when I go straight down, okay, and I'll go from the front here. When I go straight down, your feet are the connecting point to everything. So when you land, when you stop, when you go to change direction, all right, if this starts to go in, what happens here? My knees start to come in, all right? So what we're just gonna work on today, and then I'm gonna film that so you guys can watch, is that when you guys go into your squat or this bottom position, that your shin stays straight and the, my knees are on the outside of my pinky toes. Now, that might be tough due to hip restrictions, tightness, long femurs, as short and compact as I am, actually, very oddly long femurs. You guys have super long femurs, like super long. Okay, so squatting is tough, all right? We're gonna not do it for strength, we do it for mobility. So, 